hey y'all welcome back to another video if you're new here don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time i upload a new video so y'all today we have another beautiful wig from beauty xrs hair y'all i had to double back on them okay because the lace is unreal and you're gonna see exactly what i'm talking about but we have a 18 inch 200 density this is a yaki straight wig and y'all know the yaki straight wigs give uh it it, it, it be given silk press <laughs> so this is the unboxing they sent me a detangling comb a edge brush two wig caps and a pack of colorful flexi rods so this is the wig freshly washed i did have to wash it and bleach the knots but it came pre-plugged like the hairline go crazy okay and it's giving scalp it has a wig band it has three combs one in the back two uh on the sides and it do come with the drawstring so you can make it as tight as you want it or need it to be so this is my first time ever putting on this wig and i had to fit it to my head of course because it's a brand new wig so i did have to cut off the side walls y'all this is when a realization set in that beauty xrs hair did not come to play when it came to this lace you can tell that they put they all into their lace the hair is plucked to perfection the lace is this is a clear lace by the way this is not the transparent well i think the clear and the transparent may be the same thing but this is for sure not an hd lace okay this is this is a step this is at least three steps above in hd lace from my experience so far beauty xrs have the best lace in the game i've dealt with so many different hair companies this is probably the best lace that i've ever had every single wig that i've ever got from them the lace has always been so consistent they pluck every single unit which is a major plus because you don't have to you know spend all that time plucking your lace i am currently hot combing my hair to the back because i'm about to start my installation process okay so i'm gonna do my install a little different in this video as y'all can see i'm cutting it down the middle usually i do three sections but this time i'm gonna do two sections i feel like i have mastered the ability to do the three um the three step method i'm graduating myself to this two-step method this is the first time that i'm ever doing this and i didn't know exactly look at the lace oh my god you gotta be you gotta be joking <laughs> but this is the first time that i've ever tried this method i didn't know exactly how it was gonna go because i know i use even spray instead of actual glue and that stuff can be a little runny but it actually came out very good and it cut my installation process in half. But if you don't know how to do the three-step method now, well, if you don't know how to do my three-step method now, then I would advise you to perfect that and then graduate yourself on up to the two-step method. Pretty soon, I want to say like this time next year, I'll probably be at the one-step method, okay? Because practice makes perfect. But I just put my even spray on. I did two layers. I blow dry for like 30 seconds in between each layer. And then I wait until the spray is nice and tacky to put my lace on top. And then I just press my lace into the even spray with a, a comb. And it literally stays. Okay, it doesn't go anywhere. Now, is this method for longevity? No, I don't use this method for longevity. Only because I change my hair a lot. Um, I be having a lot of hair videos to do, so there's no reason for me to use a ghost bond or a bold hold to lay my wig when I just have to take it off. The good thing about the even spray is all you have to use is water to take it off, and it does not damage the lace. Now, with a wig like this, I'm not putting no type of ghost bond, bold hold, nothing on this freaking lace because i'm not a professional at taking that stuff off the lace so therefore i'm not gonna mess up this lace not this clear uh transparent lace absolutely not i'm just putting some got to be glue spray around the perimeter to get rid of any ashiness or whatever and then i'm gonna put my melt band on while i do you know half of my styling process which is using my wax stick and my hot comb and i just get it as flat as possible at the top and then i go in with my flat iron to start my styling process i did do just a little sleek middle part bust down <laughs> look because um i'm not really into the crazy hairstyles and stuff right now so all of my hairstyles be very very simple easy straight to the point um i like 
for y'all to see the quality of the hair versus y'all seeing me style it in ways that y'all probably don't know how to style it. So I'm not going to do that to y'all. I, I want to do hairstyles that people that's not normally used to doing wigs or doing their own hair know how to do. I want to make it as realistic as possible so you will know that you can achieve a certain look and you don't have to go like above and beyond to get the crazy hairstyles. I'm taking some of my heat protecting serum and I just use like maybe like a dime size amount and I just rub it in between my hands and put it all over my head. You want to do it that way so that it, it doesn't like weigh your hair down and you don't put too much product in one section. So uh, you don't want your hair to be stiff. So um, make sure that you're only using a small amount at a time and you're rubbing it in really good and you are raking your fingers through your hair don't just put it on your hair because it's gonna it's not gonna look good it's gonna be very oily starting my flat ironing process i got my flat irons on 450 degrees i did not expect this hair to get bone straight simply because it's yakky straight it's not gonna get bone straight this is supposed to give silk press and that's exactly what it gave okay so i did a couple passes on each section and this is how it turned out y'all it's so shiny and beautiful it's so soft oh my god the downside is i did have a little bit of shedding maybe it was just from the plucking process and it didn't properly get combed out the hair i don't know but it was a little bit of shedding i'm gonna keep it real with y'all anywho one side is done it's beautiful right time to move on to the next side So you guys the wig is all done this is how it turned out i can't sit here and tell me that this don't look so natural this look like my hair that i got flatter <laughs> even the lace is so perfect but you guys this is the end of the video y'all i'm gonna keep double backing on this hair because it's, it's just too good to pass up i can't do it i love the quality this is probably my favorite wig right now that i have right now but anywho all the links for this hair will be in the description box you guys thank you guys so much for watching i love y'all i will see y'all in my next video peace